Welcome back to the Devotions for the Fall. Today we're going to be doing Colossians chapter 3, verse 14. Go ahead and read the entire chapter 3. If you've ever been to a social gathering in the fall, then you've been introduced to the sausage ball. It seems incredibly simple. It involves ground pork sausage, spicy if you dare, cheese, and some biscuit bacon mix. Seriously, that is all. In his letter to the Colossians, Paul gave some specific instructions. Believers were to be merciful, kind, and humble. They were told to be patient with and forgiving of one another. Their lives were to be marked by meekness and kindness. Their lives were to be marked by meekness and kindness. Yes, yes, yes. I heard that twice. How were they to accomplish these things? How could Paul have possibly expected them to be patient with the people whom they found difficult? Oh, yes, Lord. What would it take for a person to forget someone who perhaps wasn't even sorry? Mm. There has to be something in a person that would make this sort of living possible. Yes, Lord. Living a godly life requires a binding agent. It calls for, above all else, love. It is love for God and love for one another that enables us to conduct ourselves with patience, meekness, and kindness. It is the love of Jesus bubbling up within us that causes us to forgive one another and tolerate differences within the context of the Christian community. Without love, everything else will crumble like a poorly constructed such sausage ball. So, as we strive to live godly lives, let us be sure to bind it all together with great love. Whew, that's very profound. So I went ahead and underlined that in the color green because I would like to maintain, acknowledge his promises and maintain a prayerful heart. And Galatians chapter 3 verse 14, the truth reminds us and over all these virtues put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity and that's what God is God is love and he likes for us to be united so I went ahead and inscribed that same verse both in NASB and the amplified version and the NASB version says, says in addition to all these things put on love that is a command as per the Bible reading journal series, first color chart, blue is for obedience. He wants us for us to put on love, which is the perfect bond of unity. And that is my ongoing prayer to always maintain a united front, either at home or at work in the community, with other Christians and so forth. My reflection was always seek the best for others then lord help me step out in obedience love my enemies in his strength and seek peace and I like to repent any unconfessed sin i counted my blessings i prayed very specifically and then i inscribe other verses ephesians chapter 4 verse 3 john 17 verse 23 and hebrews chapter 6 verse 1. So let's go over Hebrews chapter 6, verse 1. Therefore, let us get past the elementary stage in the teachings about the Christ, advancing on to maturity and perfection and a spiritual completeness, doing this without laying again a foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. That would be a beautiful prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we will meet at a later date, at a later time, for another segment of Devotions for the Fall in the month of November. You all have a blessed day and talk soon.